In this video, I want to tell you about five things I've been doing as an engineering PhD student to stay productive and how they have made me super productive. And I'm willing to guarantee if you use all five of them, or maybe even like two or three, you're going to be way more productive than in your current setting. And they are not in order of importance. There's no order. So I'm just going to start with the first one. First thing I do to stay very productive is elimination slash subtraction. I'm constantly removing things from my life. That's because I understand math and I understand physics and the idea that time is finite and energy is finite and your attention is finite. These are not infinite resources. Is they're finite, which means they will be divided over the number of things that you end up doing. So the more things you eliminate, the better. Now, some people will say only like pick one thing and focus on it. And yes, that's probably like the best advice for like getting really good results. But I think that can also be a bit extreme. For me, I choose like three to five things that I focus on at a time. And I just am ruthless about eliminating everything else. I am not on Instagram. I am not on TikTok. I do not use these platforms. If I want to socialize or communicate, I go hang out with my friends in person. And even the people that I do like hanging out with, we usually hang out online on my computer through discord or through things like that whatever there's a need so before you start adding things or like there's all these gurus on youtube about like productivity apps and things you can do to be productive and you're adding things the very first thing and most important thing is you need to eliminate things now how do you find out what you eliminate which brings me to the second thing i've been doing which is helping me be super productive which is tracking so over the past few weeks i've been tracking every single hour of my day so at the end of the day or in the middle of the day and sometimes at the end of the day as well i basically have a calendar where i go and i fill it one hour by one an hour ask myself what did i do today and why and there's no judgment there's just data there's only me seeing what i actually did and why and that has been like so enlightening because then you get like real data on like what you're actually doing and you get to actually measure your performance and you get to actually take a look at what you're actually doing rather than what you think you're doing you know in our mind there's always like who we think we are and who we actually are and that determines our actions what we think we're doing and what we're actually doing and only when you start tracking what you're actually doing will you make significant improvements and become more productive because then you'll figure out what to eliminate what to double down on what to kind of move around that whole process has been amazing and i'm actually trying to write software for this so if you're watching this and you can write good software you should leave a comment because i may need your help in some little project around writing a piece of software that basically tracks what you're doing and basically assigns a percentage to all the activities you're doing so if you're interested in that definitely leave a comment now third thing i've been doing which is what i call hardware optimization and i treat my body as like hardware and that means good sleep good diet exercise meditation slash prayer going on walks connecting with people basically doing things that like satisfy my physical needs like getting enough sleep is so important because if you don't do that you're going to make worse decisions you're just not going to be productive eating the right food comes second because if you're eating crap you're going to be sluggish you're going to have like ups and downs and you're going to be anxious sometimes because of like all the crap you're eating and that's just like not good so one thing i've been very serious about is like sleep diet exercise meditation hanging out with people whatever there's a need now fourth thing is a bit obvious and boring and it's just using calendars and scheduling things in advance and that's something i noticed made a huge difference is in the past I used to be very spontaneous and I would get up and in the morning I'd be like oh today I'll do that today I'll do that and it's not very effective what I found to be far more effective is the night before or the day before you already have a blueprint of what the next day looks like it doesn't have to be exact but you at least have a list of the things that you want to get done the very next day what that does is as you're going to sleep it kind of primes your brain for the next day because you know you kind of have a focus you have a goal you have something to center your attention on so as soon as you wake up you know what the objective is and you don't have to spend too much time and mental energy figuring out what the objective is but definitely plan your next day the night before is i know it's very simple but it works it's very effective now fifth thing and very important that i've been doing is a lot of time for reflection and prioritization and lately i've been blocking one whole hour so literally one hour each night i spend an entire hour just with a pen and paper like this my notebook this is my pen and i just write down there's a prompt i use it says what so what now what and it basically like basically what happened today what was today like what's on your mind i basically just kind of write all the things that i'm thinking about and then i write so what like what's the relevance of this why am I writing about this? And what does this mean? And then once I've done that, like I go into the now what, which is okay, what am I going to do with this information? What am I going to change about my life? What am I going to do different tomorrow? And I sign about like 20 minutes to each one of them, although it's a bit more fluid, it's loose. And that single reflection exercise just allows me to process the day, kind of go through everything that happened and figure out the lesson learned, like mistakes that I made and anything that I need to change. And then in the so what part of the process, I'm like, okay, like I, this is kind of where a lot of the aha moments happen. And then in the now what, I take all that reflection and knowledge and realizations and then I turn it into action items for the next day or for the week or things of that nature. And that simple reflection exercise has been so, so powerful because I think the biggest problem we face today is overwhelm and we don't have time to process our own ideas or our own emotions or we finish the day, we go watch something and then we go to sleep and we wake up and we have this like mental clutter
louder and like very high noise levels. And the whole idea of the reflection exercise is to increase the signal to noise ratio so that your thoughts become crystal clear and what needs to be done is crystal clear and you eliminate noise to the best of your ability. Now I did make a video a while back where I show you like in detail what all of this looks like. I share my computer screen and show you what this actually looks like in practice and it should be over here so you should go and watch it. Peace love.